welcome back guys a new episode of the dodge charge around today so what we're going to be doing today is the dash so a pretty cool episode if you're wondering why i'm dressed like this it is freezing in my room and i'm not too sure if i'm coming down with something not covid but yeah just thought i'd uh, start this off with a uh, pretty neat little uh, side piece so uh, I'll crack on. Right, dashboard. So there's some cool little casing right here. Obviously with the volts, the temperature and oil pressure. And then we've actually got the dials on like a clear piece of plastic themselves. Uh, I'm not too sure if these are slightly hollow, ready for the dash light to go in. What we'll do is we'll get these in like so. As you can see right there. And then we should have some little notches like so that should just pop in here, here, and maybe one here. So once we've actually got the little notches in, uh, just so don't fall out, you can see here, the starter switch, and I'll push this one in a little bit more, but you've got some little buttons for the oil pressure. And once you have these two guys in, we're going to grab the backing plate, screw this in like so, and then once you've actually got this, you should have something that looks a little like this. Obviously, not as uh, secure right now, but what we want to try and do is have the buttons working smoothly. So, after a little bit of fidgeting. Uh, we don't want to over tighten this. Anything I've learned anyway. And that's it. I've left the other button out right now because it keeps falling out. We've got no plate. But so far, so good. So we'll get this on. Like so. I'm just going to slide over. And essentially what this one is going to be like is holding in that button as well. Tick. Once you get that click, that's essentially that's more than enough. And what you should end up with is a nice dashboard. Like I say, uh, there's nothing really to click on this thing, but oh, upside down. But we have. So you've got to try and like make sure that this backing plate is. Uh, is okay so next we will be putting some of the other dashboard pieces together we have some more dials <clears throat> some plates and i believe the center dash as well so we'll get this unboxed and crack on so using the last episode <clears throat> what we're going to do just going to grab the second piece and we're going to use the back side to this and essentially all the little pieces you see here Gonna go oh, wrong side. It's gonna go underneath, like so. And you should end up with more of a secure, but a piece that looks a little like this. So what we're gonna do is get this together. Bit of a different angle, but just thought I would quickly cover the hassle I've had. So as you can see here, I've had to put this little piece of cardboard here to sort of help push this backing plate out due to the fact obviously the two buttons sitting under two little button covers and the actual bottom case is pushing on the buttons so you could never click anything and it was just sending the whole sort of system crazy so after some headache of getting this sorted and sanded down some of the parts um, it seems to be holding together so what we're going to do next is get the tachometer face and then we're going to get this attached just here like so as you can see there then we get the other backing plate on so we'll get this on right now and then i'll see you in the next part right so sorry i didn't record this just trying to get this part put together for you guys so we've got the dial right here just held them with one screw we've got the wires all nicely tucked um i believe something might be going there well, we know the steering column's going there, but 
um, a little bit of a gap. But yeah, so we've got the plate on, so this should fit nicely onto the car over there. But we will find out where this is going or what's on next on the next episode. So I shall see you in a second. Right, so because we've got this sorted now, which was going to be true for you guys, this is probably about a week's overdue, uh, well, a week's difference from the other videos because we had a few bit problems with this piece here. Hence, you can see this piece uh, just slotted in to push this back. We also have a little uh, washer in here to pull it back from the button, and then we bored out some of the buttons because they weren't working properly. So just be aware of that. Um, but now, we're going to crack them with the, uh, I believe this is the steering. Sorry, my mind went blank. But this is the steering column. So we're going to get this in right now and uh, crack on. Once you've got that in, what we're going to do is going to grab the column switch. And the columns which should just fit in there like so. Now what we're gonna do is gonna grab the dashboard. This should, well, this should slide in quite smoothly, like so. And then we're gonna flip it upside down. Sorry, I'm not sure about that. No one said your name. Just like so, we should have the shifter and we should have the column all nice and tucked in. If we get the dash light circuit board, what we're going to do is we're going to place this guy just in the little sockets like so. And that should just slot in nicely. And just hold there. So once we've done um, 57, you'd find yourself with a full pack of screws and we should have some sort of little tube or washer. And on to the next. Now for the next part of this video is we are going to be placing the dashboard onto the interior. Which should go on a little like so, I'd imagine. And once that's in, you should have a something that looks a little like this. Let's say we've got a working brake pedal. Functional sh shifter. Lastly, we have our first roll cage pack. So, for this one, it's pretty simple. Um, all we have to do is essentially place the bar in like so with a pm screw which you can see on the table and uh, that'll be it for today's today's video once you've actually got the bar in it should look a little something like this so oh, pretty decent episode so today's episode um well i can't really remember if it's going to be long or short hopefully after the editing it's not going to be too long uh, but we've had some pretty decent progress. Um, we've managed to get the full sort of interior done. Um, a bit of the roll cage, which is pretty nice to see. So all in all, again, some decent progress. But um, I can't remember what we're doing next week. So until then, I hope you did enjoy this one. And I uh, shall see you in the next one. Peace out.